You can create responsive pages, filtered dashboards, and info apps using WebFocus Designer to bring a wide variety of existing content together in one place. Info apps are a great way to provide a large amount of information in a single page, while still remaining clear and easy to navigate. You can add a mix of charts and reports to a single page, and provide filters to enable users to focus on the information that matters to them. To create a new page from the WebFocus homepage, click a domain or folder and, from the Common tab or Designer tab in the Actions bar, click Page. This launches WebFocus Designer. Your first step is to select a template for your page. WebFocus Designer provides a few options showing pre-configured layouts with different size containers. These containers hold your content. Alternatively, you can copy an existing page, once you have created one, or select the blank option, as we will do here, to size containers on the page as you create it. Since we did not select a pre-configured layout option, the page loads without any containers. To populate the page, simply drag some of your content from the resource selector to the canvas. This creates a container that you can easily resize using the handles. The container also contains a title, maximize button, and a runtime menu for your content. When you resize a container on the canvas, it snaps to fill the space evenly. At runtime, the panel width will grow and shrink in size until the page reaches certain breakpoints, at which point the panels will wrap onto separate rows to maintain reasonable sizes. You can add multiple charts, reports, visualizations, and more to the page. To add content to the next row, drag it to the bottom of an existing row. A highlighted area shows that it will be placed below that location. You can also add repository widgets to provide additional innovative ways of using your content and incorporating it into your designer page. The Explorer widget allows you to put the WebFocus Explorer onto your page and use the WebFocus homepage features to navigate your content. The Link Tile widget arranges content in such a way that one content item becomes a click-through tile that opens another content item. This feature is especially useful when you need to incorporate a large or insight-enabled item into a page and display it on all devices. Similarly, you can add empty containers to the page by clicking the Containers button. This is helpful when you want to create a page template. Additionally, you can add sections to the canvas. To add a new section, right-click the canvas and click Insert Section Above or Below. You can make any section collapsible to maximize space on your page. If you drag content on top of an existing container, you have the option to replace that content or to add it to the same container as a new tab, carousel slide, or accordion area. This allows you to add more content to the page without taking up extra space. If you add content to the page that contains parameters, WebFocus Designer recognizes them and prompts you to create a filter panel. If you click the quick filter icon, a filter panel is added to the page with all available parameters displayed as filter controls. You can change the type of control by right-clicking it and clicking Convert. You can change whether to place filter controls in a filter bar or in a pop-up window using the Page Filter Configuration button. And you can customize individual filter controls as well as the layout of the filter panel in the Properties panel. To access the Properties panel, click the Properties button. You can use the Properties panel to change settings for the whole page or for individual components based on what you select on the page, indicated by the red outline. For example, if you select a container, you can use the Settings tab to show or hide the title and toolbar, and use the Style tab to change the color scheme of the container. You can add a Submit and a Reset button to your filter panel. Click the Controls button at the top of the Resource Selector, and drag the Submit button to your filter panel. When you add the Submit button, the Reset button is automatically added. Now your content does not change on selection, but only changes once the Submit or Reset button is pressed. This behavior is helpful when working with large datasets or a large number of content items. Once you're happy with the content on the page, you can customize the look of your page. To change the page heading, double-click it and type a new value. You can also change the heading for a filter menu by double-clicking it. If you want to see what your page looks like at runtime, you can take a look in preview mode. Click the preview button to access a runtime view of the page. Note that the page is responsive and that the refresh and filter buttons and shortcut menu options can be used to interact with the page and its content. You can return to design mode by clicking the blue button at the top of the preview page. 
As you build your page, make sure to save it using the Save icon. To learn more, visit the WebFocus 8205 Knowledge Base, where you can search all technical topics and videos.